The folding and assembly of MHC class 1 molecules takes place in the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum. The initial folding of the class 1 heavy, or alpha, chain is aided by the chaperone calnexin. The partially folded chain is transferred to a second chaperone, calreticulin, which aids the further folding of the chain and the association of beta-2 microglobulin. Other proteins, ERP57 and tapicin, associate with the nascent class 1 molecule, which binds to the TAP transporter via tapicin to form a peptide-loading complex. The peptides that bind to the MHC class 1 molecule are generated by a large protein complex, the proteasome, which is found in the cytoplasm. The proteasome degrades proteins within the cytosol of the cell to produce short peptides, which are then transported through the endoplasmic reticulum membrane by the TAP transporter. Some peptides do not bind to the MHC molecule at all. Others can bind, but are unstable. These are released from the MHC molecule, a process called peptide editing. Finally, a peptide binds to the MHC molecule with high affinity to make a stable complex. This causes the final step in the folding of the class 1 molecule to take place, and the dissociation of the peptide-loading complex. The peptide-loaded MHC class 1 molecule is now free to exit the endoplasmic reticulum and be transported, via the Golgi apparatus, to the cell surface, where it can be recognized by the antigen receptors of CD8 T cells. The two chains of the MHC class II molecule assemble in the endoplasmic reticulum, the ER, with a third chain, the invariant chain, shown here in green. A portion of the invariant chain binds to the peptide binding groove of the MHC class II molecule and prevents peptides or unfolded proteins present in the ER from binding. The invariant chain also guides the transport of the class II molecule out of the ER and through the Golgi apparatus into a vesicle that eventually becomes part of the endocytic pathway by which pathogens and foreign proteins are taken into the cell. Progressive acidification of this endocytic vesicle activates proteases that cleave the invariant chain in two places, leaving a small peptide, the class II associated invariant chain peptide, or CLIP, bound to the class II molecule. Engulfed pathogens, or their proteins, are also degraded by acid-activated proteases into peptides, but these cannot immediately bind to the class II molecule because the CLIP peptide still occupies the peptide-binding groove. The removal of the CLIP peptide is the function of a specialized MHC class II-like molecule, HLA-DM, which is also present in these vesicles. It functions as a catalyst coordinating both the release of the CLIP peptide from class II molecules and the binding of pathogen-derived peptides. The MHC class II peptide complex is then transported to the cell surface, where it can be recognized by the antigen receptors of CD4 T cells.